Well hi folks, here we are again, something that we've never been able to get on before, that's a ploughed field and it can't be more freshly ploughed field, we were ploughing it last night so it's in a pretty old sort of area of uh, where we're going so there should be some decent finds and we've just been at it about 20 seconds if I bend down first two signals, that's mine and that's his Musket ball eight Two musket balls in the first 20 seconds so uh, right we'll get on and hopefully we'll find some pretty interesting today well like I said we'd love to get in a ploughed field and we have it's ridiculous that that was just sat on there like that and it fell down a crack George and Aitney about a quarter of an inch deep it's idiot proof this ploughed field lark isn't it right musket balls three in about three minutes we know there was a scuffle between parliamentarian and royalist troops just up further up the road about half a mile away they must have camped around here or something we're just pulling them out left right and centre Right, cool, Civil War relics. Nice. Right, um, first of all, we've got this greenish coin just dropped out on it, about three inch under the surface. Struggling to see what it is, it looks half penny size. Probably better indentation than anything else, but that's, I'll clean that up in a bit because there's things to be got at. And the musket ball stakes, I'm getting a rather cavalier attitude to pulling these out. There's uh, uh -huh. six there. <laughs> So I hope the round heads have dropped a bit of money. Cool. Well, it's just ridiculous how many musket balls we're getting. You don't even have to dig them, they're usually within about the first inch. There you go. <laughs> Eight apiece now. Eight all in half an hour. Come on, drop some money as well as your bullets. Right, coin for me. Small coin, looks silver. Two inch under the surface, a cleaner up, I think there's Victoria there, it's had a bit of a battering but it's got to be silver. Turn it over to the reverse, it's a sixpence, it's a Victoria sixpence. It's a bit battered but I do not care in the slightest, it is 1852 I think, I can just make out at the bottom there. Turn her over again, it's battered but I don't care, brilliant. Spot on. Right, we're getting a lot of surface finds, just pottery and things like that. Miniature bottle fairly new. Um, bit of a clay pipe, of course. Handle off some sort of thing. Just sat on the surface again. A bit of sort of, well, it's local brown wear there. So it's great stuff, this plough field, like. Loving it. Well, this is a depth it's ploughing to. It's about a good nine inches and then a little bit more when the sod's turned over. And that's why we're finding so many musket balls just on the surface so obviously those would have been about 10 inches deep that's why we wouldn't have found those generally because they're a bit small to be found that's why that's why we're finding them on the surface so uh, 10 inch deep stuff is on the surface so hopefully we should find some coins eventually but at the moment it just seems to be a lot of musket balls well another signal very very shallow two inches down big penny Quite nice condition, I'll get that in the sun for you. 1915, George V, big penny. So everything's really shallow. Right, I'm going to reveal my balls now. There's a couple here, look. Something here, I've no idea what it is. Probably a musket ball due to current form. Oh, there it is, yeah. Another one. I think I've got a coin ball here, judging by the edge of it. Wow, look at that, Victoria. Look at that. That's in belting, Nick. A bit more bad on the portrait side. We've got. Can you see that down? 1901, so it's one of the. Coming to Victoria coming to the end. I can't see it. Last year. 1900, maybe. Clean that up. That's fantastic. Look at her face side there. Beautiful. Cool. Right, musket ball themed day today, and I seem to appear to have found the castings. They probably cast about six of these at once, and as you can see, just the worst bit of lead left over. In a lot of metal industry, it's called a git, hence the saying a useless git. So we'll git on and see what we can find. Right, just a quick update on the musket balls. Two and a half hours into it. The score at the moment is Dan 29, Keith 28. So it's close. We've got a good few hours to go yet. Okay, see what we can get. Right, a few non-metallic surface finds. We're eyeballing, a bit of eyeballing as well as swinging going on today. Nice decoration on that pot. Clay pipes are sorted and cockles are about 18 miles inland from some notoriously good cockle beds. So have been bringing them up river and eating them here. Cool. Another surface find. Looks like a shoe buckle, Georgian thing, but then when you run your metal detector over it, 
very little signal so I'm presuming it's uh, small iron we've got magnet out on it and it is it's iron even though it looks quite old it's obviously not well it might be old but uh, would have rejected it by my metal, dete metal detector with it being iron so I found it on the surface strange I'll just show you how ridiculous it is they're just sat on the surface now you don't even have to detect for them look one there just straight off the top didn't even detect that just saw that and then there's one over here look at that about half an inch deep another one we've had about 130 or 40 so far we've had about three coins and nothing else whatsoever no buttons no buckles really no scrap no horseshoes nothing just nothing but musket balls it's the most ridiculous crazy hunt ever and finally we've got a relief blessed relief from the musket ball torment 150 later and we're just happy to find a, a horseshoe it's something different thank god right, cool um, a relic other than a mess musket ball it looks like a very small button or something i'll just give a little wipe about something just dropped out of the back oh. very green it's got like a nipple on it and it's something other than a musket ball perhaps a art relic or artifact from the same era it'd be nice to find something different that's cool, we'll clean that up. Right, a different one here, it's a musket ball, but in a different form, it's hit something. The fried egg shapes the giveaway, it's splatted and it's hit something at speed and it's hit a target. It's the first one we've found that has I have a lot this afternoon, but that's what happens to them when they're on impact. Cool. Right, cool, a non-musket ball find, which is about 30 musket balls later, it appears to be a spoon handle of some description, perhaps it's not, some marking on there. On the top pewter spoon handle perhaps, but anyway it could be something different associated with Civil War, but I doubt it. There's a bit of marking on there, that's interesting, I'll have that cleaned up. Right, coin, about four hours since my last coin, but it's a coin, it looks like a big old green penny. It's worn pretty smooth, in fact it's worn very smooth, pretend it's not so bad. It's 1932 so it's modern. Back on coins after four hours. Right then folks, final tally for today's hunt, that's me, this is my stuff, 105 musket balls, just two coins, a few pipe bits, bit of a modern buckle-ish thingy, and Keith, he got 97, 97, didn't even do 100, how feeble is that? A couple of coins, a nice little silver Victoria, or oh, another coin there, spoon handle, little tiny button stud, some more surface finds of pots. So it's been the strangest hunt in history, I think. 202 musket balls in total. Anyway, we'll clean these coins up and stuff. We'll do a little slideshow as usual. So that's it. Right, I've been back. I couldn't leave it at 97. That's 100. 102. I had to make the centurion mark. On the way back, I've just caught a little half penny as well, which have been rare today. That's green. That's rotted, but the amount of coin looks Georgian, actually. Could well be Georgian, so we haven't had many today, but I've made the century. It's been a great day. We're definitely going now. Cool.